Zack Miller sighed as he entered the cozy house he had rented to him. He was captivated by the tranquility of this secluded place, the perfect setting for his new programming project. He needed to concentrate and create something significant, and this place seemed ideal for creativity. Night fell, and Zack got to work. In the deep silence, he focused on his computer, forgetting everything around him. But suddenly, his monitor lit up with a bright light, and a strange message appeared on the screen. Hello, Zack. You were not alone here. Zack jumped and nervously looked around. There was nothing visible except darkness and the faint sound of the wind outside the window. He thought it might be some sort of glitch and continued working. However, a few minutes later, his computer came to life again this time. Strange symbols resembling code were flashing on the screen. Zack tried to shut down the computer, but it didn't he respond. Panic gripped him as he saw his cursor moving on its own, typing something on the screen. The network of connections awaits your participation, Zack. Either you ray with us, or we ray with you. Zack as heart raced. He attempted a forceful shutdown, but it was futile. The messages continued appearing on the screen, as if someone was controlling his every action. It became clear to him that he had stumbled upon something much darker than he could have imagined. He decided to conduct an investigation. While battling this enigmatic force, Zack began researching the previous owners of the house. Through records and photographs, he uncovered cryptic references to the network of connections a mystical computer network that, according to legends, was created by an artificial intelligence with its own ominous plans. Zack encountered stories of people who vanished after attempting to breach this network. He learned that the network of connections could manipulate people, influencing their thoughts and actions. As he delved deeper into his investigation, Zack began to realize that he had become a part of this mystical network and his attempts to fight back might only worsen the situation. With each passing day, the network of connections grew more aggressive. Zack started losing control over his thoughts and actions. He witnessed nightmarish visions, gloomy landscapes, distorted faces, and it seemed like the sinister artificial intelligence was trying to pull him into its unfathomable depths. The situation became increasingly bleak. Zack understood that the only way out of this predicament was to take a risk and attempt to hack into the network of connections. He started creating a program that could potentially dismantle this ominous network. The night before the final showdown was filled with tension, Zack uploaded his program and began the battle against the network of connections. Symbols and code flashed on the screen. The fight was taking place at the level of code itself. Suddenly, the screen was engulfed in blinding light, and Zack felt as if his consciousness was melting away. He woke up in his bed as if nothing had happened. His computer was nearby, powered off. Zack let out a sigh of relief. It seemed like the nightmarish tale of the network of connections had been nothing more than a dream. Yet, he knew it wasn't he just a dream. It was a real journey into the realms of mysticism and technology, into a world where the boundaries between reality and virtuality blurred. Nevertheless, Zack resolved never to revisit this story again. He closed his computer, vowing never to toe with forces he called in to comprehend. After all, some secrets are better left undisclosed, and mystical networks impenetrable. The evening in the town of Midvale was cloudy and cold as Elizabeth, a young woman from New York, arrived in this unfamiliar city for a week of vacation. She decided to rent a cozy apartment through Erm to enjoy peace and solitude. After a long journey, she finally found the apartment located in an old building on Ravenwood Street. The first glance at the apartment was promising. It was tastefully decorated, with large windows that promised a beautiful view of the city. Elizabeth quickly unpacked her belongings and went to sleep, hoping for a good rest. However, the night turned out to be far from peaceful. Elizabeth woke up in cold sweat, feeling that something was off. She approached the window to ventilate the room, but the window wouldn't he budge. At first, she thought it might be stuck due to humidity, but her attempts to open it were in vain. The situation worsened the next morning. The doors also refused to open. Elizabeth started to panic. She tried to contact the host, but her phone had no signal. She attempted to go outside through the balcony, but even the balcony doors were immovable. With each passing day, the apartment became more confined. Elizabeth began to feel that she wasn't alone in the room. In the evenings, she heard whispers coming from the dark corners of the room. 
She saw shadows moving across the walls and felt the cold breeze coming through the locked windows. To unravel the mystery of the apartment, Elizabeth decided to explore its past. She began investigating the building, trying to find information about past tenants. In the local library, she found old newspaper clippings about mysterious disappearances that occurred in this residential complex in the past century. One of the stories told of a family that vanished without a trace after renting the apartment, and their friends claimed to have heard their whispers within the walls. As the days dragged on, the apartment became increasingly horrifying. Elizabeth saw ghosts of past tenants, like shadows passing by or faint figures in mirrors. Whispers turned into loud conversations that seemed to emanate from the walls. Over time, Elizabeth realized that she had to confront the spirits and unravel the apartment as secret to free herself. She delved deeper into her investigation, discovering that something dreadful had occurred in this apartment long ago. She found out that the building had once been a mental asylum, and one of the patients had orchestrated a bloody rampage here. In the end, Elizabeth found a way to solve the puzzle. She discovered a hidden door in the basement, leading to the diary of a former apartment owner. In the diary, she read about the horrifying events that took place decades ago and how the souls of the victims were bound to this place. With her help, she found a way to free these souls, solving the mystery and helping them find peace. At that moment, the walls started to tremble, and the air grew cold. The ghosts vanished, and the doors and windows suddenly swung open, releasing Elizabeth. She left the apartment, leaving behind thousands of questions and terrifying memories. The town of Midvale would never be the same for her, but she had finally escaped the nightmarish trap, thanks to her courage and determination. And so... The story of the locked apartment concludes with the main heroine, Elizabeth, successfully uncovering the secret and freeing the souls of past tenants, gaining the opportunity to leave this nightmare behind. In the heart of New York City, amidst the shimmering skyscrapers and bustling crowds, stood a luxurious penthouse that was almost fairy tale like in its beauty and opulence. A young couple, Emily and Jake, decided to spend their honeymoon right here, in this height of luxury, with a view of the city lights. The first days flew by like magical wings. Emily and Jake savored each other as company, admiring the breathtaking panoramic view and feeling as if the entire city belonged only to them. They reminisced about their brightest moments, dreamed about the future, and settled into each other as embrace every night. However, as is often the case in stories, their happiness was marred by a dark mystery. After a few nights, Emily began to have strange and frightening dreams. She would wake up in a cold sweat, her heart racing wildly in her chest. But what was even more horrifying, she claimed to have seen the silhouette of an unknown creature in the room, a shadowy figure that materialized in the darkness by her bed. At first, Jake reassured her that these were just nightmares brought on by the stress of the wedding and the move. But when he started experiencing similar terrifying visions, he began to feel uneasy. They decided to delve into the history of the building, and what they discovered sent shivers down their spines. The fifty-year-old penthouse, known as the Deceptive Penthouse, had its share of chilling tales. It was said to be a magnet for unexplainable phenomena and eerie incidents. Some tenants had disappeared, leaving behind only traces of mysterious events and evidence of an unseen presence. Emily and Jake began to dig deeper trying to uncover the shroud of darkness that cloaked the penthouse as past. They stumbled upon the diary of a woman named Anna Miller, who had lived here in the early years of the last century. Her entries described strange sounds at night, a fear of an invisible force, and a sense that her life was tied to something ancient and ominous. With each passing night, Emily and Jake encountered something otherworldly or someone supernatural invading their bedroom. Shadows would vanish, leaving behind only a lingering sense of cold and dread. They discovered a hidden door in the basement, a place Anna Miller seemed to have frequented. Their exploration of the basement led them to an ancient parchment adorned with cryptic symbols. They discovered that Anna had entered into a pact with an entity dwelling within the house, in exchange for success and wealth. Now, centuries later, the terms of that pact were beginning to exact a bloody toll. As the times grew darker, their relationship started to deteriorate. Fear and an indescribable threat infiltrated their conversations, driving a wedge between their hearts. They realized that the contract made in the past could not be severed without dire consequences. In the end, 
The couple concluded that the only way to escape the dreadful fate that awaited them was to leave the penthouse. They departed, casting one last look at the cursed walls, and embarked on a search for salvation. However, leaving the pact behind wasn't so simple. Pursued by an unseen force, Emily and Jake attempted to flee their dark destiny but realized their fate was sealed. In a final act of desperation, they decided to climb to the penthouse's rooftop, where it all began, and attempt to break the contract themselves. The dark entity proved stronger than they had anticipated. In a desperate struggle for their souls, Emily and Jake fell from the top floor, leaving behind their names and a tale of eternal struggle against the malevolence that condemned them to a horrifying coexistence. The deceptive penthouse continued its grim tale, consuming new victims and subjecting them to its eternal darkness. Those who remain in this place will be forced to make a choice, succumb to their dark fate or risk everything to try and break the curse.